It has all jobs in Brazil. General information. The world's fifth largest country has a great deal to ignite the imagination of the traveler. Tropical rainforests, the Amazon basin, pristine beaches are just what comes with the territory. Once one adds in the people, who are often extremely friendly, and the buzz of the big cities, you can guarantee that you are entertaining the experience of a lifetime. The official language is Portuguese, and the population of 170 millions has plenty of space in the 3.3 million square miles of landmass. 70% of the population is Roman Catholic. Of the remainder there is a significant proportion of evangelical Christians, but also, interestingly, of native animists, those that believe earthquakes, trees, mountains, etc. all have spirits associated with them. In a continent where baseball and US television is enormously popular, there is considerable enthusiasm for learning English. However, it is American English that has most currency and is most sought after, not English English. The distinction is noted by locals, bringing considerable advantage to Canadian and North American candidates. Nevertheless, there are many opportunities and, as ever, persistence pays dividends. Those actively looking for work will find it and be rewarded by the experience of teaching some of the most enthusiastic, fun-loving students on the planet. In addition to this America is corporate big brother. Its influence and presence is pervasive, and there is a huge market compassed of those who want or need to communicate with and comprehend native English speakers. Teaching. Quite unlike Europe, for those wishing to teach in a state or private school, there is not the requirement for a PGCE or an undergraduate degree. Nor is there a requirement for two years as teaching experience. With language institutes you can, in the main, expect to find yourself teaching those who work in business or tourism, less so those doing it just for fun. This needs-driven market makes for sharp, well-motivated students. Don't expect to find people dozing at the back of the class. Commensurately, these people are paying for the privilege and will expect a respectable, well-turned-out, professional teacher. Another thing to be aware of is that, because Portuguese is an inflected language, students will naturally have a much higher awareness of grammar than native English speakers. Be on your mettle and prepare well. You don't want to have your knowledge of tenses tested by your students who learned them all by heart before they were 10. Because of the huge variety of standards in education you can expect a commensurately patchy student body. Some will have very little experience. However, others, privately educated, will have many years' experience in studying English. Brazilian students are amongst those most highly and warmly spoken of by experienced as all teachers. Expect fun and great enthusiasm, but don't be surprised if nobody shows up if there is a major sporting event in the offing. Visas and regulations. Naturalization, i.e. the legal right to work and reside, which is strictly necessary in, say the EU or the US and Canada, is not paid so much attention to in Brazil. The more elite schools and colleges may well require a work permit. But outside of this narrow part of the market, you do not really need a work permit to work and you will not get a work permit unless you have a job and will not get that kind of job unless you have a work permit. Your application for this rare device must be made in your country of origin and since language schools do not, as a rule, recruit abroad, they want to see you in the flesh before offering a contract, your chances of becoming legally naturalized are mighty slim. Typically, you will be able to stay in Brazil for six months on a tourist visa and be able to renew this by a cross-border trip, normally to Paraguay. Extensions can also be granted by the federal police. Many institutes offer the promise of a work permit. However, this promise often turns out to be empty, made to entice a teacher to work, so don't get your hopes up. Perhaps the wise job seeker, in the best of all possible Brazilian worlds directs their attention to their visa requirements and entitlements. This will depend on what your country of origin has fixed up with the host country. You can find all about this from your local embassy. 
think about also what you have to do to renew your visa all the way back home or does a cross-border trip do nicely how many times can you renew your tourist visa popular destinations Brazil's capital, Brasilia, was built in the center of the country, in a particularly dry area with few trees and an artificial lake. Some people question why it was built there at all. The traveler's eye more readily settles on places such as Manaus, home to Amazonian rafting, and all manner of water sports. At the other end of the scale Rio de Janeiro offers a dazzling array of day and nightlife. Sao Paulo, on the other hand comes hard and fast with Paulistas believing in working hard and playing harder in this, the third largest metropolis on the planet. Getting a job. A modicum of preparation prior to setting out will pay dividends. Think of not one Latin American country, but the whole continent. You may end up moving around quite a bit once you hit this part of the world. Hence, it is a very good idea to contact all of the Latin American embassies in your country of origin, inquiring about teaching and visas, and see what you get back. You will find that you have a nice big file folder of leads and information, but it will vary from country of origin to country of origin, Latin American embassy to Latin American embassy. Like most Latin American countries jobs are mostly gained on the spot. Hence you will need a letter of introduction, in Portuguese, your resume or CV translated accordingly, plus a translation of your transcripts and certificates. Equally, hone or acquire those language skills. Latin America is not the Costa del Sol in Spain with its huge, English-speaking tourist industry. Do not expect English to be widely spoken or news. For all practical purposes a little bit of Portuguese can go an awfully long way in determining both your employability and the quality of your experience. There are avenues which can be utilized to gain a placement prior to setting out. Most U.S. TESOL schools have close ties with one or more Latin American countries. The Language and Training Group of the British Council arranges for language assistance to be placed for one academic year, though applicants must be 20 to 30 years of age with at least A-level Spanish. The Association of American Schools in South America acts as a recruitment agent. Candidates must pay $25 to register, then the placement fee is $300, normally reimbursed by employers. The South American Explorers keeps lists of schools which employ English language teachers and maintain a database of volunteers. They charge $50 a year for membership with a $10 premium added to non-US members to cover the cost of postage. Amity volunteer teachers abroad are active in Latin America, offering nine-month placements. There are 39 SBCIs, Sociedades Brasileiras de Cultura Inglesa, and 23 ICBIAS, Instituto Cultural Brasil Estadios Unidos. You can get in contact with them through any of the five British Council offices located throughout the country. Another good place to look is in the Fulha de Sao Paulo newspaper on Sundays. For many, getting a job will mean knocking on doors, hence, the need for those translated documents. Helped, hopefully, by a smattering of polite Portuguese. Local telephone directories detail universities, schools and language institutes, etc., which are often only too willing to interview candidates. Highly qualified, and more importantly, well turned out, organized and enthusiastic teachers are in short supply. If they like you, they will most certainly find some teaching for you. Hence, one of the best and most realistic propositions is to build a working life based around constructing a portfolio a few hours here and a few hours there, bearing mind that revenue from privates can double a teacher's income, one should always be on the lookout for private students, whatever one's employment or visa status. The market for those wanting private tuition or conversation practice is huge and potentially very lucrative, therefore, not be neglected. Give yourself time to build a portfolio of work. This is best safeguard to both your income and employment status, the latter of which can be a little fluid with schools and language institutes. Tez all jobs in Brazil.
If you are thinking of becoming an English teacher abroad, taking our TESOL training course at a professional training center in Brazil is a good place to start. Our training center in the city of Natal offers you all the facilities you need to achieve your TESOL certification. Teaching in Brazil, elsewhere in South America, or any other place in the world will soon become a reality with our efficient recruitment assistance. We know how to get the best paid teaching positions around the world and won't stop looking until we find your dream TESOL job. TESOL Brazil Due to the country's size, Brazil is a thriving job market for ESL teachers with thousands of job openings in the big cities and more rural areas. Renowned language schools across the country are constantly looking for TESOL certified teachers who are eager to work in Brazil. Even though many teachers head for jobs in the big cities such as Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, there are also good positions to be found in many less known areas. Some would say that you get to experience the real Brazilian lifestyle when living in the countryside while also escaping the hustle and bustle of the busy metropolises. On the other hand, the larger cities also have a lot to offer that cannot be found in the smaller towns. Tesol Course Brazil The city of Natal is the perfect place to take your Tesol course as it combines the advantages of both the city and the countryside. Dubbed the city of sun, it not only has a place in the heart of the locals, but it also attracts thousands of tourists each year who come looking for blue water, white beaches and great weather. Isn't it great to be able to head to the beach and sunbathe after a week of IT professional training and coaching by our teacher trainers? As well as excellent beaches, Natal also offers something for more adventurous travelers including a world-class water park. You needn't be worried about securing a spot on a training course as they run year-round, which makes them accessible for anyone, even if you have a busy schedule. Should Brazil not appeal to you, you might want to enroll on our course in a neighboring country, such as Argentina or Costa Rica.